Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the Bible Promise Book. So this is a KJV Bible. This is the paper sleeve that comes on the Bible. So I'm going to hold that right there so you can pause and read that section. And then gives you some of the topics. Here's the ISBN number. This one does retail for $39.99. At the time I'm doing this video, it is on sale on Amazon right now for just $26. So here are some of the features. So we're going to have 150 Bible promise categories, 9,000 highlighted scripture references, daily promise mini devotions, individual book introductions, words of Christ in red, and a ribbon marker. And then this other side of the flap just has some information about the King James Version. All right, so this particular Bible measures out at 9 and 3 8 inches tall by seven and an eighth inches wide, and it is an inch and three eighths thick. So we're gonna have white head and tail bands, plain white page edges, but the cover on this is really, really pretty with this floral design. So on this material, it's not just a regular paper. It feels more like a coated paper, almost like a wallpaper. So I think this paper is gonna be fairly durable. And then we can see the stitching here. And then this other section, is textured and it's almost like a rubberized so it does have a really grippy feel I don't feel at all like I'm gonna drop it on the spine we've got the Bible promise book KJV Bible little floral design there King James Version and Barber and then we've got that same grippy it's almost like a rubberized material but very very pretty I like the design that they did on this we're gonna have a paper paste down liner now in the light right there, that's kind of not the best color representation, but that right there is more true to what the color looks like. So we're going to have our title page. This one is done by Barber. This one is printed in China. We're going to have our contents page, an introduction to the Bible promise book. So it'll go over that there's 365 daily promises, 400 promise points. So that's going to be additional information about the background and circumstances surrounding God's promises. And then we're going to have over 150 Bible promise topics. So it'll give the topic, the reference, and then the first page number. So this is going to be very handy if you're wanting to look up particular topics. So that's going to span a few pages. And we're going to have the epistle dedicatory. Then we get right in to the Old Testament. Each book will have a short introduction. So I've got the short intro. It'll go over the author and the occasion and then also the promises within that book. We're going to have a single column verse by verse layout with all of the promises in the outside columns. So we'll have our daily promise. They will be not noted as far as being numbered. So we can see daily promise number one, our powerful creator. So it'll give you the scripture reference and it also tells you where the next daily promise is going to be. Then we're going to have the different promises within the books. So I think that is a really nice way they did that. And then here's one of those promise points. And then there's a close up on the text. Now one thing that you can see is it is pretty heavy on the ghosting. So that is going to be the one downfall on this particular Bible is the ghosting. It is, there's a lot of distraction there. You can kind of reduce it by pulling the page away from the other one because you can see that that is way more ghosting there than when we pull it away from the page or you can put a piece of black paper behind it. But I really would have liked to have seen them use a better paper or even do a line matching and maybe a bolder print to help cut down on the ghosting because that would be my only complaint on this Bible. Aside from that, I love all the features in this one. So we can see here in the gutter, we can see all those threads. So nice sewn binding. I mean, we're right in the beginning of the Bible here still, and it lays perfectly flat for us. You're gonna have plenty of space in the margins for notes. So you've got an inch and three quarters worth of space in the margins. It does have all of the pill crow marks that you'll see in the KJV. So that's going to be the little symbols there for the pill crows. So what that means is if this was in a paragraph format, 
that would be where a new paragraph would start. So you can see right here that like on pages like this, some pages are gonna have a ton of space for notes. I'm not sure how this paper would do to writing or highlighting in. I'm not gonna use the Bible for that or for even really a reading copy. I'm gonna use it for basically everything in the margins. So basically the promises because the font is a hair small for me. I looked online, the only thing that I could find is one site said that it's a nine point, but it seems a little bit smaller to my eyes. And it could just seem worse because of the ghosting. That's just one of the things that really is bothersome with my vision issues with the macular degeneration. Ghosting really bothers me. So here's a close up of the Psalms. So they're also going to be in a verse by verse layout. So a lot of people who love the KJV really like verse by verse, but I really like how they have all the promises in this one. We do have one ribbon marker. So it is just a single sided satin, kind of a pastel pink. And then we've also got words of Christ in red. So a decent shade of red, it could be a little bit darker, but I also think that the Bible in general could have a bolder print. I think that that would probably help with the readability. Once we get back to the end of Revelation, we see that it's red letter all the way through to the end. And then we're gonna have a topical index. So these pages here, we've got the words in bold. It'll give you all of the different page numbers. So I do like the way they did that. And then we're gonna have a small concordance in dictionary. So it's only gonna be 13 pages, but it is nice to have something back here. So I'll give you a close up of that. So in certain lighting, the ghosting doesn't seem as bad, but when the light's right above it, I find that it's the ghosting is heavier. If I'm sitting in bed and I have the Bible in this position and the light's position behind me, it's not quite as distracting. Then we get back to the end of the Bible and that is pretty much the end of it. But a very pretty Bible. I really like the way they did the design on this one. I really love the content and the features that it has. The only drawback is going to be the ghosting. So we've got the Bible Promise Book, KJV. There again is the ISBN number. So really pretty, and uh, I'll definitely be using this one for all the promises, and I'll probably use this one to take the promises from and maybe write them into another wide margin Bible. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.